Let me show you how to easily add circular text to an existing design using the Imbrilliant software. So to add our circular text to our design, I have first opened my Happy Face Emoji from Creative Applique. And I have added a BX font collection that I purchased from them as well. And I decided that I'd like to put some, the lettering to arch above my little happy emoji here. So I'm going to choose my lettering tool and it brings in the block default font. Let me expand my properties pane here so that I could see all the line spacing. To do that on Windows or Mac, you put your mouse cursor between the two panes, click hold and drag and that allows you to resize. You can also do that left or right. So that allows you to maybe if you're missing some of these spacings, you can add them quickly. So the first thing I'm going to do is type in my name and I'm going to put in Charles and click set. Now I'd like this to be a circular font. So I'm going to put text on a circle and choose that option. And under my font name, I'm going to choose the one inch servant font, which is the one from Creative Appliques. Now here it is displayed on my screen. I'm going to place it above here because that's where I want to see it. And I'm going to zoom in so that we can actually get a closer look. And let's move it so it's in our space here. And now we can actually see the lettering. And while it's selected, everything else is sort of grayed out. So I'm going to move it down so that the letters are on that black line. And you can see that the S and the C, the first and the last letters, are right on the line. But the other letters are a little bit above. So I'm going to use my radius adjuster here in my properties pane to adjust my radius so that they're all equally um, on the line exactly because that's I'm just going to use that as my guide. So now they're all just kissing that black line. That just makes it a little bit easier for me to um, move things around and line things up. I have adjusted my spacing just a little bit because I was playing with it and I forgot to reset it to zero. I like how this looks as far as the spacing goes. My only issue is between the R and the L and that is because I think it's just a little bit too much space because of the way the R is. So I'm going to click on the center dot of the L, grab the lower triangle and click hold and drag and it's going to just move it along that radius a little bit closer to the the R. So now it says Charles with the spacing that I would like. Now let's zoom out just a bit because I want to kind of do this a little bit cattywampus. I saw a t-shirt that had a name that was side um, in this quadrant in a circle and I'd like to do that. So I'm going to again select my lettering, select the letter C this time, grab that lower triangle, and drag it and you see how it goes right along that black line so I don't have to make any further adjustments. It's that because I set it once it's just going to continue going all the way around the circle. So I kind of like how that looks. Maybe I'd like to do the C to go exactly um, more straight. So I'm going to move him so he's down like this. There we go. That's That's what I like. So now that I have him the words the way I want, I'm going to select them and use the keyboard keys on my keyboard because I can move him with my mouse by just move, putting my mouse on, a, on the selected stitches and moving them. But I've already taken so much time to get it lined up exactly where I want to. I'm going to use the keyboard keys, the arrows, and I'm going to hit the left arrow two times and I'm going to move, move the top arrow oops, two times, and that adjusts it so it's exactly perfect the way I want to. It's hugging right along there, nice and evenly, two clicks left, two clicks north, and we're good. Now, one more thing to pay attention is that my design is no longer centered in my hoop. My center design is, but my name is now outside my hoop. So we have to make a decision. I can click the center button, and that centers the entire design in the hoop. Notice 
this may look fine on your shirt. You're going to want to print a template, which is done from the file menu, and choose print, and it will print out our template. It brings up the dialog box, and you have your crosshair, so you can actually print this out, place it exactly where you want it, and line your needle up. There is a YouTube video that shows you exactly how to do this on our in Brilliance YouTube channel. But I already know, because I have printed this out, that I want my design to be, I want the center to be where the center of the um, emoji is. So I'm going to hit undo so that the emoji is still centered and everything is still correct. I'm going to select all by dragging in with my mouse and selecting them all. And I am going to just move this down until I get it closer to the center. Because I have Enthusiast installed, I can see where my center of my X and my Y horizontal and my vertical locations are. So if I were to simply type in zero here, because I have Enthusiast, it will place this center up and down horizontally in here. If I want to lock this to this location, with Essentials, under the Utility menu, I will want to choose Based Design. If you have Enthusiast, you're going to want to choose Based Hoop. When you choose Based Hoop, basically it puts the basting box and it locks your design to that section. And now when you load it to your machine, that's where your crosshair is going to be. It's going to be right in the center of its selected. If you have in Essentials only, choose Base Design and follow the Quick Tip video number three, which shows you how to enlarge it so that you save your design center to your hoop.